Hello guys and welcome to the Simply Code programming channel. This is Vikesh and let's get started with today's topic which is about equality and relational operators. When we talk about relational operators, they are sometimes also called comparison operators. And the basic idea behind using these operators is to compare things or compare the values of variables or compare the objects in Java. So in Java, if you need to compare anything, for example, if you want to compare if something is less than the other thing or something is greater than the other thing or something is equal to the other thing, then you need to use the comparison operators which are provided by Java. Here you can see um, I have opened the official Java docs and you can see a bunch of comparison or relational operators. Both of the terms are used interchangeably. Some people call them comparison operators and some people call them relational operators. So you can see if I want to compare if an object or a value is equal to another value, then I use the double equal sign. If I want to compare for non-equality, I will use exclamation with an equal to, which means not equal to. If I want to do a greater than comparison, then I will use the mathematics greater than symbol. If I want to do the greater than equal to or less than or less than equal to, they again follow the same kind of uh, terminology as we see in mathematics. So this is all we have in terms of the relational operators. So let's understand the usage of these operators with the help of some examples. So as you can see, I have created a class here, which is called comparison operator. There is a public static void main method inside this class. And this method has two variables of integer type called value one and value two. Value one has the value one and value two has the value two. And then I am trying to compare the value one and value two variables using the different relational operators we just covered. For doing that, I need to use a conditional operator as well. We will be covering conditional operators in much, much detail in the upcoming lectures. But for now, you can understand that when we talk about conditional operators, we talk about if and else statement. So if is again a keyword in Java, which can be used to compare things. And the syntax is very straightforward. You write the if keyword and then you write the actual comparison syntax or the actual comparison expression. So in the first example, we can see that I'm writing a condition which says evaluate if value one is equal to value two. I should put a curly braces around here. You can see there are no curly braces here, but that is for a case when you have only one statement under it. But again, I will cover this in detail and, and I don't want to confuse the audience here. So I will just put curly braces around all of these if statements so that it becomes easy to interpret what is actually going on in these code blocks. As we know that these curly braces are used to define a code block. So the first if block says compare if the value one is equal to the value two. If yes, then this condition will become two and the control of the program will go at line number 10. If this condition is not true, then the control will not go inside 10 because this condition is false. So it will never go to line 10 and it will move to line 11 or 12 instead. Similarly, the next condition is we are comparing the value one is not equal to value two. So this condition will only be true if these two values are not equal or unequal. And if that is the case, then line 14 will execute it. Otherwise line 14 will not be executed. Similarly, in this condition, I'm saying compare if value one is greater than value two or not. So if the actual value holded by value one variable is greater than the value two variable, then this condition will become true and the line 18 will be executed. Otherwise it will be skipped. Then similarly at line 20, I'm doing the reverse. I'm comparing if value one is less than equal, less than value two. If that is the case, then line 22 will be executed. Otherwise it will be skipped. And at last, I'm also showcasing an example of less than equal to operator that you put less than and equal to together. And again, you compare the two variables. Similarly, you can also use greater than equal to variable comparison uh, operator as well in this example. So we have an example of equality, not equal to greater than less than and less than equal to. Let's run this example to understand. So for running the example, I will just right click here, go to run as and click on Java application and we can see the output here. So as the value one holds the value one and value two variable holds the value two, 
obviously one is not equal to two so the first condition is not going to be evaluated to true so line 10 will never be executed because one is not equal to two similarly if i talk about the next condition which was if value one is not equal to value two then execute statement 14 and yes one is not equal to two that's why we see this particular system dot out dot print ln here we see this printed moving on is value one greater than value two so is one greater than two no it's not so line 18 will never be executed then the next one is is value one less than value two so yes one is less than two so line 22 will be executed and we see the line 22 output here system dot out dot print and output moving on is one less than equal to two yes one is less than equal to two so this particular condition is also true and line 26 will be executed and that's why we see this here and that's all so we can see that we are able to use these comparison or relational operators to evaluate different conditions and we write those conditions using the if block and again if you do not understand the if block fully don't worry we will be covering the if blocks in detail but the focus here is in using the operators the not equal to operators the greater than equal to operators less than equal to operators etc so i hope these operators give you better understanding of how to use them now moving on to the next section of this uh, comparison operators sometimes we also use some logical terms to do the comparison for example if i just move down here and i show you these conditions here we call them conditional operators conditional operators are used to evaluate the conditions like and or or and we use them in two two ways either we can use it as ampersand or double ampersand or we can use them as pipe or double pipes so the idea is basically to evaluate if one condition is true and other condition is also true or one condition is true or other condition is true so whenever you want to combine two conditions together that's where you're going to use these logical operators or conditional operators you can also use the simple english keywords like and or 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 you can use the logical representation of these keywords for example ampersand ampersand or double ampersand is equivalent to and similarly double pipe is equivalent to or so we can use these as well interchangeably you can e use either of these uh, operator representations to run a conditional check in composition meaning you can compare two conditions saying okay if one is true and second is true or one is true or second is true so the whole focus is here in and and or comparisons so let's switch back to the uh, ide and let's look at an example of this to understand this in detail so i will again take the similar kind of example again i have created two variables here value one and value two value one has value as one and second variable value two has value as two and then i'm writing two conditions this time in the same if block you can see i am writing first condition saying is value one equal to equal to one and is value two also equal to equal to two so this whole if condition is only going to be true only if both of the conditions are true that's the property of and and will force that both the conditions on the left hand side of it and the right hand side of it hold true and then only the whole expression is going to hold true even if one of the conditions evaluate to false the whole if expression will evaluate to false similarly for or, or conditions we again write a left hand condition and a right hand condition and in between we write this double pipe we can also write or or in english that will also have the same effect and this will evaluate in a way that this whole expression this whole expression will evaluate to true if even a single condition either on left side or right side of it becomes true so or will just need one expression to be true to make the whole if condition true whereas and will force both of the conditions to be true to make the whole expression as true so and will require two trues to actually become true but or condition will require only one true to become true so if we try to do uh, understand this logic here i am saying that if value 1 is equal to equal to 1 which is correct and value 2 is equal to equal to 2 then make this condition as true so yes in this case this condition will evaluate to true because value 1 has value 1, uh, one and value 2 has value as 2 so it will print the line 10 whereas 
in the next condition i'm saying evaluate if value 1 is equal to equal to 1 or value 2 is equal to equal to 1 so either of the expression if becomes true either the left side this expression or the right side this expression either of the expression becomes true this whole condition will become true and line 14 will be executed line 14 will not be executed only in a case when both of the conditions here become false for example if i write it like this then we know that value 1 is not equal to 4 because it's 1 and value 2 is not equal to 5 because it's true in that case both of the expression will become false and then line 14 will not be executed if i write it like this then the left hand expression is evaluated to true because value 1 is 1 but the right hand expression is false but it's fine the line 14 will still be executed because either of these side is true so the whole expression becomes true similarly here and will require both of the expressions to be true and if either of them becomes false then the whole expression becomes false so in the current state line 10 will be executed but if i change this to this then the left hand side of this ampersand will evaluate to false and the whole expression will evaluate to false in that case and line 10 will never be executed let's try to run all of these scenarios to make a better understanding of this so in this case both of the conditions should work fine so i will just right click and run as java application and yes we see this line 10 being printed and we also see this line 13 being printed so both of the lines are printed correctly both of the conditions are evaluating to true now let's try to play around with it let me change this value to 4 so now value 1 this left hand side expression is false which should make the whole expression as false and it should not print the line 10 which is this statement so let's run this program and see if that works yes we see that this particular line is not printed now because this whole expression became false because the left hand side of this expression became false similarly in the or case either of them has to have to be true you can see currently value 2 equal to equal to 5 condition will actually result in a false condition because this is not a true value 2 is actually 2 not 5 and still we see this particular expression because either of them have to be true if i make both of them as not true now both of the conditions on the left hand side of pipe and right hand side of pipe are false conditions what will happen now nothing will be printed the reason for that is that value 1 is also that this condition is also false and value 2 condition is also false so the whole expression became false and this was already false so this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture we covered about, about the comparison operators and how to use them and in the next lecture we are going to talk about the bitwise operators if you like this video a thumbs up would be massively appreciated and don't forget to subscribe to simply code for more programming related videos Thank you and we'll meet again in the next lecture.